All right, here's what you need to know about next week's severe weather event, mainly here from, say, Michigan all the way south to Arkansas, Oklahoma, then north across the Plain States. And that will move east, too. So I think we're going to have to watch this as it heads into the northeast. Let's quickly just kind of show you the players on the table, a quick look at what's going on around the country. We've got these showers and storms across the southeast on Saturday into Sunday. Cool and uh, showery across the Pacific Northwest. Some snow showers here into the mountains, some rain showers. But here comes our first round of severe weather heading into Monday and then into Tuesday, another system. And this one could get really strong, too. We're going to really dive into the details of this one as it moves toward the Great Lakes. Low pressure really deepening here. And that's going to cause a lot of wind shear and some severe thunderstorms and even, I think, some more tornadoes and big hail. Another hot day here across the south, 90s from Louisiana to Arkansas as we head into Sunday. A little cool here around Boston. Look at those temperatures in the 50s and 40s with that onshore flow. Another hot day, too, here across Texas, mid to upper 90s in some spots, especially the closer you get to the Rio Grande here. Some clouds here keeping us a little cool across the northern plains. Let's talk about the severe weather outlook. This is the area that we're watching here across the southeast from Florida, Georgia, but uh, and uh, north into South Carolina and even into the mid-Atlantic too. But Sunday's threat really shifts here to the plain states. The problem here will be strong damaging winds and some big hail. It could be up to two inches in some spots. The Storm Prediction Center hashing this area out from West Kansas down into parts of Oklahoma. And look, the hail could be big too, up in parts of Nebraska, South Dakota, and as far east as Iowa and Missouri. And then uh, you got to watch the tornado threat too. Not as strong as what we've seen over the last couple of weeks, but still not a zero threat here across Kansas, down into Oklahoma, and into Nebraska. And then as we head into Monday, this kind of stretches out and heads to the north and east. That's what we're looking like on Saturday evening. Some of those storms across the southeast will be strong, and they'll start to settle down. And then as we head into Sunday, not as active, but still another day of storms here across South Carolina, North Carolina, and some storms could also fire here right along the spine of the mountains. And also here across the Midwest from Chicago, I think back towards Wisconsin and Illinois, a lot of these just really afternoon variety thunderstorms. Some could get a little strong, though. Here's the future radar across the central plains. We'll have these showers going early Sunday morning. Those will lift off to the north and east, some heavy rain with those. But the big stuff holds off until the afternoon as we move toward the 8-9. 10 o'clock evening hour. The problem is some of these could be happening at night. So some strong damaging winds, big hail again, up to two inches possible. And that will move off to the east. The problem with this is it's going to strengthen as we move into Tuesday. So now our severe weather threat here, the Storm Prediction Center already highlighting this area with a pretty decent chance of seeing severe weather. Zooming in a little closer does include a lot of Missouri, a lot of Illinois, especially northwest Illinois, and southeast and central Iowa, as far east as Chicago, and it could push into Michigan. I think that's something to keep in mind, too. Strong jet streak aloft. This is the culprit as we head into Tuesday. The front right side of this is where you'll see the severe weather. This is starting to come together. I think that's why the Storm Prediction Center is growing in confidence that they're bullseyeing this area as we head into Tuesday. So stay weather aware. I'll keep you guys updated. If you like this kind of stuff, this kind of content, diving into some of the details, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. Now, beyond this, what are we looking at? Well, let's kind of back up and look at the upper levels. That's where I like to kind of track things. We do have some warm air. Again, it's going to get pretty hot here. Temperatures climbing above average out ahead of this, and look how deep this low gets. And that's why I think, again, you may end up with some severe weather here across Ohio, maybe even into southeast Canada as we move into Wednesday and Thursday. And then really after this, you know, tracking these lobes of cold air gets a little tricky, especially this time of year. The models have a hard time with that. But this right here could cause some storms as we head into Friday. And I'm telling you guys, this uh, active weather pattern looks like it's going to stick around. Although, look how warm the European tries to throw things next week. Kind of above average with our upper level heights. But we're dealing with another core of cold air. That could be another severe weather maker even into next week. So I think, again, May ends active. I said it yesterday. I'm thinking the same thing today. I'll catch you next time.